I'm sharpening an auger bit. Uh, I use auger bits uh, a lot. I use a lot of different bits, but my favorite bit for drilling into uh, the pine seats or even butternut seats, softwood seats, is an auger bit. I think a well-tuned auger does it better than any other bit out there, whether it's a running in a power drill or, <clears throat> or what. Uh, but it's got to be tuned up. So the first thing we'll talk about is uh, how to find one, how to buy one, because uh, uh, you can still buy this right here. Irwin has them made in uh, Brazil, and uh, they're not bad bits at all. You can tune them up to where they cut, where they cut real, real well. And they're $10, 12 $13 a piece, something like that. You can find uh, old versions in uh, junk stores for a dollar or two, but you gotta make sure what you're buying is gonna, gonna work. So the, the two patterns that you'll find is, uh, is this uh, twisted pattern here, and then the one where the shank runs up the, the center. Uh, I really don't have any preference for either one of them. This one's prettier. And this would be the Russell Jennings pattern, which actually this one came off of, I think. But, uh, and that's what you'll find. You'll find Russell Jennings' name on it. You'll find where Stanley bought them out later. Uh, you'll find where Jennings partnered with Snail. Uh, lots, of, lots of different ones. But uh, when, when you find them, you, the obvious is it straight. Uh, what's the lead screw look like? Uh, is, it, is it in good shape? Is it going to pull the bit through? Because that's the way... <clears throat> that the bit is able to drill the hole. The lead screw pulls it through. It doesn't work on, on pressure. Once you engage that, that screw then, you can just back off the pressure and it'll go right through. One of the advantages of it. Um, and then these knickers out here that score the hole, those are the ones that are usually damaged. They've either been filed too far down to be able to work anymore, or somebody has tried to file them, or not tried, but has filed them on the outside. And once you do that, it's, it's ruined because <clears throat> it will score a hole that is smaller than the rest of the bit. So when, after the hole is scored, then immediately the rest of the bit will come in behind it, larger, and it will smash these wood fibers up, and you won't be able to figure out why this hole is so ugly and not, not clean. So what you need to do is take a hand lens with you and look at that because you're going to, I mean, sometimes, well, you might be able to see better than me, but I got to, even with my reading glasses, I can't see it. Uh, <clears throat> so I make sure that that is, uh, uh, is, hasn't been filed and that it's long enough. So once I got that, then uh, uh, I buy the bit and get it home and you give it a try in white pine and see how clean that's, those knickers are going to score the hole. Um, if they aren't scoring it clean, then we're going to file it, sharpen it. If they are scoring it clean, but then it keeps stripping out, then something else is going on. It could be dull right here and, uh, <clears throat> you know, keeping taking too much pressure to, to cut and it's stripping out the, uh, uh, the threads or the threads could be, uh, could be bad. So the file that I'm going to use is lying around here somewhere. It's a auger bit file and it's a safe edge file. So <clears throat> safe edge means that only one side has teeth on it. So right here the teeth are on this large flat edge and there's nothing here on this edge, so when it's up against another surface, it won't cut into that surface. And then this side's just the opposite. It can cut over here, but it can't cut there. So I'll show you how, uh, uh, how to sharpen one, and then we'll drill a little bit with it. All right, so I've got my riser block over here so I can be comfortable in uh, filing it, and I'm just going to lay it, I'm just going to lay it right in there on that uh, knicker there on that spur and try to file it even try to hit even all the way all the way around it there you go that's what you want to do okay that sound it felt pretty smooth 
and I took four light strokes. Try to take the same number as long as I'm hitting on the same place. Okay, so that gets the, the knickers there. And now if you want to file the uh, cutting edge there, then you're going to find that edge. Let's see, where are we? Right, right there. You'll feel less drag when you're right on the bevel <clears throat> than you will if you're off of it. Okay, that uh, that ought to do. Let's uh, let's see if it can bore a clean hole. So, got it in my bit brace, and let's give it a whirl here. I believe it looks really sweet there. So maybe I can <coughs> show you the entrance there and how clean that is. So what you get if those knickers are not sharp is you'll typically get it pulling out along the end grain right here or right back here and it'll pull out a little chip but it ought to be able to just enter that hole it's absolutely pristine. So that's it.